Hi everyone, this is a case study based on the third chapter of the NCRD book, Understanding Quadrilaterals for Grade 8. Now let's move to the question. The question is, during math lab activity, each student was given 4 strokes of length, 10 cm, 10 cm, 6 cm, 6 cm to make different types of quadrilaterals. First question is, how many quadrilaterals can be formed using these straws? Option A, one type. Option B, two type. Option C, three types. And option D, four types. Now, first of all, we have to understand what is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a polygon uh, that is having four sides. Okay, so some types of quadrilateral that we know are trapezium, parallelogram, square and everything. Okay. Now the measurements given here are 10 cm, 10 cm, 6 cm and 6 cm respectively. Now in a certain shape the opposite sides have to be equal. So one of the shapes which allows and complete this property is rectangle. In a rectangle we can see that here opposite side that is 10 cm and 10 cm is equal and here if we see 5 cm and 5 cm is uh, 6 cm. Okay, 6 cm and 6 cm is equal. Next shape which allows the same property is a parallelogram. So, in a parallelogram also, same like the rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. Now, the third shape is you all may be wondering how using these, these measurements we can form a kite. Now we can see that in a kite, adjacent sides of a kite are equal. That is, we can see adjacent sides that is this side and also this side are having equal length. That is here 6 cm, here also 6 cm, where here 10 cm and here 10 cm. Now we can all guess the answer easily. The answer is three types of quadrilaterals. Now let's move to the second question that is, Name the types of quadrilaterals formed. Option A, rectangle square kite. Option B, rectangle parallelogram kite. Option C, rectangle square trapezium rhombus. And option D, rectangle square and rhombus. If we solve the first question correctly, it's very easy to answer the second question that we formed during the first question. That is, it was the second one, right? We formed a rectangle using the property opposite sides are equal. And a parallelogram using the same property, opposite sides are equal. And a kite by using the property, adjacent sides of a kite are equal. Now let's move to the third question. That is, one of the students made a quadrilateral as shown in the figure that you can see, in which AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC and Angle A is equal to angle C. Angle B is equal to angle D. Okay. Then A, B, C, D is a square, kite, rhombus and parallelogram. We all know what's a square. The square looks like this. That is, it has all of its sides equal measurement. Okay. But in this image, you can see that it is not having equal measurement. See, this opposite sides are equal and this opposite sides are equal. Okay, next is kite. Now, a kite looks like this. So, in this kite, we know that this and this are equal. That is, adjacent sides are equal as we discussed in the previous questions. Now, here we can see the adjacent sides that is AD and DC like that sides are not equal here. Whereas opposite sides are equal. Next is rhombus. So rhombus is also like this. It also have all of its sides equal. All sides are equal in a rhombus. Now here it's all sides are not equal and parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are equal. Now it satisfies the property that opposite sides are equal. Also here we measure that. Here we mention that. So, D and measure of angle D is equal to measure of angle B and measure of angle C is equal to measure of angle A. That is, opposite angles are also equal. So, 
We all know that it's a parallelogram that it satisfies two properties of a parallelogram. Next one is, let's move to the fourth question. That is, the sum of the measures of four angles of the above quadrilateral is, we all know that sum of the measures means angle sum. It means angle sum. Okay, so angle sum of any quadrilateral is, 360 that we all know without doing any calculation. Now there is one more calculation that we can add here that is if you don't know there is an equation for finding the angle sum of any quadrilateral or any polygon okay actually. So that is n minus 2 into 180. We know that the previous shape which was a parallelogram had four sides. n means the number of sides. So, 4 minus 2 into 180, that is 2 into 180 is equal to, so the 0 and 18 into 2 is equal to 36. So, it's 360 otherwise also. Now, we are moving to the fifth question. That is, the number of diagonals can be drawn in the above quadrilateral is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this was the quadrilateral, right? This is a parallelogram. This was the quadrilateral. Now we were discussing number of diagonals. Okay. Now, how to find this is there is an equation for finding the diagonals of any polygon. That equation is n into n minus 3 divided by 2. So here n means it has four sides, right? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here, here also n is number of sides. That is divided by 2 here only we can just cancel out and 2 into 1 is equal to 2 okay now we all know that it's two diagonals okay let's just mark now how will the two diagonals come that is like this and thank you for watching our video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you have a nice day